Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? Hope it's fantastic. Everything here is great-ish. I'll tell you about that in a minute. But it's um, it's Monday and I did go to Origins this weekend. Uh, I had been planning on going to Origins for a month or two, but then a family event got planned for Saturday and I was just like, you know what, I've made, I'm planning on going to see friends, I'm going to go see friends. I'm not doing Gen Con this year, probably not doing any BGG or Dice Tower or anything like that, so this would be my one chance to say hi to friends. So, um, we, we stayed at M's family's house. Uh, they live in, like, Bel Air, Ohio, so it's about halfway between here uh, and Columbus. So... Um, woke up and left early that morning, drove to Columbus by myself, had a good time, on the drive that is, I mean I listen to podcasts and stuff, makes it go pretty quick, got there, got my badge, kind of goofed off in the open gaming area, talked to some friends there, Dan, uh, my friend from the library, uh, game night was there teaching, so we talked a little bit, and then I just kind of wandered around and looked and waited for the hall to open. Um, I took my camera and that was it, I had just a camera bag, I didn't have a backpack or anything like that. Because I wasn't really sure, like, I had no agenda other than to say hi to all my friends. Like, you know, all my board game friends are going to be here, let's say hi to them. Uh, and, well, I shouldn't say all. A lot of my board game friends are going to be here, let's say hi to them. Uh, and that wasn't the case. Um, I, I discovered that in talking to publishers, uh, this, the first two days... Of origins was stronger than the entire week of the last year so like a really good opening uh, I believe Saturday looked very busy to me it, it felt busy at least um, but a lot of my publisher friends weren't there their booths were there but the main people that I'm talk with weren't just didn't come like nope we're there it's just us it's just like ancillary <laughs> You know, it'd be like coming to Portal Games booth and it's just me and there's no Ignasi. People come to see Ignasi, but it, then I'm there, right? Same kind of thing. I go to see, you know, the owner, usually, of the publisher, and they weren't there. But I, I got to see some, you know. I got to see uh, my friend Clay from Capstone. I really like Clay. I really like his company and I like everything that he does uh, as, a, as a publisher. Uh, so I got to talk to him for a good bit. I got to see Lance uh, Mixter. I got to see T. Carnes. I got to see... Um, my friend Carrie from Twilight Creations and uh, my artist friend Beth and you know so I had a good day I had a, I had a day of I, I did my normal con uh, like when I go as a pedestrian I have a rule I, I do the whole show I walk the whole floor and, and I note things that I want to go check out and then I go back and check things out so the first time through is just me seeing everything that's there getting an idea of what's in the place so i did that um went and hit up it, it, but here's the thing nothing caught my eye like i saw some things that were like well that's you know aesthetically interesting but i don't know about the game i never heard about it i'm, I'm kind of out of touch with with what's new in the gaming world so i went back to my friend beth's booth she was not there she was teaching a class but i got to talk to her husband steve I asked him what he was into, and he told me about this game, Earth, which I hadn't heard about. So uh, I went over there and got uh, a little demo presentation of Earth, and I ended up buying it. They had very limited quantities, and there was only two left for purchase that day, so I took one. Uh, it seemed like very much like my thing, a tableau builder, engine builder, resource management. It, you know, it seemed like my kind of thing. So I bought that. Um, and then I went to lunch. Oh, I talked to my friend Travis, uh, from Queen Games. He gave me some upgraded components for Amsterdam, which I'm really excited about. Uh, so I had those things. I went back to Clay, got a bag, and I went to lunch. Uh, when I'm at Origins, my lunch, standard lunch, is at the North Market. There is a booth called Hubert's Polish Kitchen. And uh, his pierogies, his gawamki, which is like a cabbage roll, like a stuffed cabbage roll. Um, that's, it's the best. 
He has this soup called lecho, which I've talked to my Polish friends. They're like, that's not a Polish soup. That's a Czech, I think, soup. Um, but he makes it, and it's kind of a little bit spicy, and I pour it on the, uh, on the, um, the pigeon. Go, golwamki, from what I understand, is pigeon. That, so whatever this cabbage roll is, it's called pigeon. So I had that. I had my lunch. That was amazing. Went back. Talked to Beth a little bit more. And then just kind of wandered. I didn't have a plan. Actually, so to tell you why today's just okay-ish, I've hurt my back again. I've reached that age where I'm probably too living too sedentary of a lifestyle. And so every now and again, I'll turn the wrong way or I'll pick something up. And then I my back is inflamed for weeks. Like, oh, you know, 10 days or something. So I had that problem going into Saturday. Then I had my camera bag on and I'm carrying the stuff and my left hip started to hurt. And I'm assuming it was because I was kind of compensating for the weight or whatever. So I was in quite a bit of pain and I actually went to my car, left everything. I had, I did not even get my camera out the entire day. Uh, did, well, that entire morning. So I just put it away. Like I don't, I'm not gonna use this. There, there wasn't really anything that I was super intrigued by. So I just put it away and I didn't take pictures, which was honestly one of my biggest intentions going there was to try games and get pictures. Um, but what I discovered, so last year I did that. Me and Ben, uh, my friend from Portal, we went and did, we spent three days there and did demos and I took lots of pictures and that was a blast. And that was my intention this year. Because M couldn't come with me, what I discovered was it's really hard to do that as a solo player. Like it's really hard to get demos because there needs to be a group. And if there's a group, then I'm just the odd guy out. Like it was actually very difficult to find demos. I, I talked to a lot of developers and designers, like gave the little presentation pitches, but no, I didn't get to sit and play anything and take pictures. So that was a little bit disappointing, but it was okay because I, I, Though I enjoyed doing that last year with Ben, I don't I don't know that I bought any of the games that we played last year. Like I played a whole bunch of stuff I would not normally play. Um and and that was fun, but it was also like I'm not going to buy this. So this year I didn't play a bunch of stuff I'm not going to play. I set in on a demo of a game from Hashit called In the Path of Darwin or something like that. Kind of an interesting tile drafting set collection sort of thing. I sat and watched a group of three play that. They were playing when I walked up. That seemed interesting. I liked it, but not enough to purchase it. Uh, I talked to a lady um, who had done a game called something owls, like smug owls or something like that. Uh, and it's a cool little party game where the deck of cards that you flip and it makes a riddle and then you have to give an answer and then whoever like it's kind of like um it's kind of like an apples to apples type thing or you know somebody's handing out points but that isn't a fixed person every turn it's like whoever just doesn't answer the riddle they get to pass out the points that was kind of neat i like the idea of it but i don't enjoy that type of game i don't play those types of games basically ever um, what else did I see? Oh, I talked to my friend Justin from, um, Restoration. I, I saw, we talked for, you know, a good bit, uh, saw my friend Berkey from Game Toppers and got some of his Happy Mouth seasoning, which is always one of my highlights of seeing people at conventions, is seeing him number one seeing him and seeing the amazing transformation that his company has taken over the years and two getting some happy mouth um and then so i kind of wandered i didn't really find anything interesting i talked to some more friends uh, i found some mugs for him and i um harry potter themed mugs i was like oh that'd be a great for us to have coffee in or whatever um i ended up going back to my friend beth's booth and steve wanted to play a game so we ended up playing earth uh, this was like right before close, and um, I discovered that, yes, Earth is very much a game I will enjoy, and I'm very happy that I purchased it. Um, and then that was kind of it. Like, the day ended, I got in my car and went and got Skyline Chili. Uh, well, I get Coney's and Chili Cheese Fries there, uh, and then drove home. 
And it was a good day, but despite the pain that I was in, I was in a significant amount of pain. Steve ended up giving me some ibuprofen, which helped. And um, I enjoyed the day, but it wasn't the day that I had anticipated, you know? I had anticipated kind of trying to recreate the magic of last year, of being a pedestrian with a friend and playing all kinds of demos and taking lots of pictures. And what I discovered was that was a very difficult thing to do. Also, I, my back pain was probably affecting my mood, so I wasn't willing to sit and deal with the crap. Oh! Uh, I also picked up a game called Composition. So I stopped and talked to a guy. He showed me a game about chocolates, and I thought, that's kind of neat. Tell me about this game. So it was interesting because they both had owls. One was about chocolates. One was about uh, one was a word game, and I was like, these are all things that my wife loves. And so he told me about the word game. I ended up buying it, um, and then I talked to the designer and owner of the company a little bit about design stuff. And... Um, um, We've played it. We played it twice yesterday, and it's a pretty cool game. Uh, I like word games, and this is a kind of fast and simple one. It's nothing crazy. You get some letters, you make a word, move on with your life. Uh, I like that. That's that's a good thing. Oh, and I talked to my friend Robert at Fantasy F or not Fantasy Flight. Geez, that's not a thing. I talked to my friend Robert at Arcane Wonders. Uh, we talked a good bit actually, and we wandered the hall a little bit together. I kind of just bumped into him, and um, we started talking about what's going on in Russia right now. But the interesting news is that I told him that I have this game that I've been trying to pitch, and I'm having a hard time finding and talking about the train game. And I told him it was a two-player train game, you know, cube rail style. And um, and he said, I'm, I'd be interested in taking a look at that. Like, I, I'm always looking for interesting two-player games. So, I feel pretty good about that. You know, I, I don't expect him to pick it up. I don't think it's going to be the right fit for his two-player lineup uh, just because it isn't a compact two-player game. It's quite an involved production because it needs, well, it's not. I mean, it needs a ton of trains and dice and cards and a board. and It's not a small box two-player game. Um, but I'm excited to show it to him anyway. I, I'm excited every time I get to show somebody uh, that game because I get something back, whether that's this is great, try this, this is don't, this isn't great, don't do this, or have you thought about doing this, publishing this yourself, or have you thought about talking to this person? So I'm excited to show that to him. I'm going to reach out to him soonish. Well, oh, and one other person that I saw was Grant Lyon. Uh, he's a comedian and a game designer and a board game content creator and uh, we've talked over the years when he first started trying to pitch games and um, he pitched a portal I took his pitch and wasn't that you know his types of stuff games weren't for us but um, I talked to him a bit about writing yesterday uh, writing because I've, I've he told me four or five years ago when we first met I told him I love stand-up and I've always dreamed about doing it and he said just do it just do a five-minute spot at an open mic and so I've put a lot of heart, I've put a lot of thought into that, and I've started to write some jokes, uh, and we talked about that. So who knows? Maybe I'll find myself on a stage someday doing a little little comedy bit. That was the day. It was a it was a full day. It was a good day. Uh, I think that my back probably had more of an impact than I than I'm allowing myself to remember on whether I stopped and played games. I just kind of breezed past stuff because I was just in pain. And that wasn't good. But it was difficult to find games to play as a solo. Uh, definitely recommend taking a friend. Okay. Got any questions about anything I just said? Uh, did you go to Origins? Did you, did you have fun? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends and wonderful people. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you again tomorrow. I took the thing out and now I don't know what word I was on. Uh... I'm going to go with remittance. Remittance. R -E nope. I usually spell it at the end. Remittance is a noun, a payment for goods or services purchased on credit. Lacking a credit card, he made a remittance on his account online using PayPal. Remittance. R-E-M-I-T-T-A-N-C-E. -E. Um, is that just for paying off a credit card? Like, you can remit to a retailer who just gives you something. Like, do you remit at the end of a night when you close out your tab at a bar?